that both Republicans and Democrats have claimed victory after a hotly anticipated debate by the U.S. vice presidential candidates. Now, according to SNAP polls, veteran Democrat Joe Biden won by a large margin, but his Republican rival Sarah Palin held her own, and for some observers, that alone is a victory for the Alaska governor. From the get-go, Republican Sarah Palin turned on her folksy charm. Hey, can I call you Joe? Probably concerned about being branded sexist or a bully, Democrat Joe Biden never called the Alaskan governor by her first name or attacked her. The barbs were directed at their rival presidential candidates instead. Two Mondays ago, John McCain said at 9 o'clock in the morning that the fundamentals of the economy were strong. That doesn't make John McCain a bad guy, but it does point out he's out of touch. Barack had 94 opportunities to side on the people's side and reduce taxes, and 94 times he voted to increase taxes or not support a tax reduction. 94 times. There were plenty of differences on health care in Texas, but also the occasional consensus. Your question to him was whether he supported uh, gay marriage, and my answer is the same as his, and, and it is that I do not. Wonderful. You agree. Let, on that note, let's move to foreign policy. Okay. Here, the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee offered detailed responses in contrast to Mrs. Palin's platitudes. We cannot afford to lose against Al-Qaeda and the Shia extremists who are still there, still fighting us, but we're getting closer and closer to victory. But she did remind the senator of his turnaround on Iraq. Now, you said regarding Senator McCain's uh, military policies there, Senator Biden, that you supported a lot of these things. In fact, you said that uh, you wanted to run, you'd be honored to run with him on the ticket. And that's an indication, I think, of some of the support that you had, at least until you became the VP pick here. Um, <laughs> You also said that Barack Obama was not ready to be commander-in-chief. Issues aside, both candidates also turned to family values to reach out to middle America. Look, I understand what it's like to be a single parent. When my wife and daughter died and my two sons were gravely injured, I understand what it's like as a parent to wonder what it's like if your kid's going to make it. Being a mom, being a, one who is very concerned about a son in the war, about a special needs child, about kids heading off to college, how are we going to pay those tuition bills? It appears neither campaign suffered from the showdown, neither were they able to swing voters.